everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you are new here, hi, my name is Holly. I am so thankful to have you here. So I'm guessing everyone has seen Hailey Bieber's Sugar Plum Fairy makeup. It's so cute. It's kind of like ballet curl that we were all obsessed with in summer. I feel like it's a little bit more natural. Still going with the clean girl aesthetic. Anyway, so we're going to recreate that makeup today and I'm going to do it. With a few changes though, just to fit my face shape. Plus I don't own any road products, which is the whole reason she comes up with these trends to like market her products. Girl TV knowing how to market. So yeah, before we begin, if you are not already, please subscribe, leave a like, a comment. It means the world to me and helps me out so much. Plus I really need to have a catch up with you all after all of this time. I hope that you enjoy it. Let's get on with the tutorial. I have missed the DSLR quality, let me tell you. So as you can see my skin is already glowing from my skincare. She's got it down to the tape, but I want even more of a glow. So I'm gonna take the Be Perfect Perfection Primer and Champagne Glow. This is an illuminating primer, so it's just like two in one. Also adds a little tiny bit of coverage. This does come in different shades as well, which is really good. I won't particularly say it does anything for like the texture of the skin, but for the shine that it gives. It's unchallenged. So now our skin has the most beautiful illuminated glow. I want to tackle the texture. So we're going to go in with the Beauty Crop Cocoa Gold Primer. This has a little bit of a silicone-y texture. So if you don't like that texture, I always say that maybe this isn't for you. However, for the blurring effect that it has, if you have quite noticeable pores like me, dreamy beyond belief product. And if you have a lot of texture, it is so good at evening that out. And it actually is a little bit luminizing itself because it has little gold flecks in it. So Hayley doesn't put any foundation on the skin. She just does concealer. She does this quite a lot because her skin is perfect. Mine, however, still has a little bit of unevenness. So I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I have this in shade four. I have a feeling that this might be a little bit too dark for me. I'm only going in with the tiniest bit anyway because we want it to be natural. This Doll Beauty brush, by the way. I don't know how they've made this brush, but nothing ever goes streaky with it. Like, perfect canvas. It just makes your skin look airbrushed, but you've still got little bits of your skin poking through. I just love it. Now I conceal, which is the bit that Hailey just goes straight onto. I wish. <laughs> this is my favorite concealer of the moment, by the way. Very expensive, but worth it. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I use the shade Cedar. Pulling concealer upwards just helps you to have a little bit of a... A little bit of a facelift. I do find that this oxidizes a little bit. But other than that, the coverage is amazing. It's creamy, a little goes a long way. The finish of it is just bon apple tea. Judge hates it when I say bon apple tea. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit to the high points in my face as well. So next thing Hayley does is she bronzes her skin. I can't actually tell whether she's using powder or cream. So I'm gonna go in with the Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer. This is more of like a balmy texture and I'm just going to very lightly bronze up my skin. Anywhere I feel like has a little bit of a shadow. And whenever I wanna tone my bronzer down, I always use it on the same brush that I used my foundation on. Just takes the intensity away from the color a little bit and helps it blend better. I always thought I was a cool toned girl when it came to like chiseling out my face. You know, like a contour girl. But I'm kind of starting to change my mind. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose as well. So I'm hoping you can see what I mean. Like not chiseling anything out, just adding a little bit of color to your face. Now it's for the iconic pink cheeks. So it's a very like baby pink tone. So I'm gonna be using Claudia Killsby on Wednesday's Liquid Blush first. This color, it's a new shade. Look at that. Is that not the prettiest baby pink? It's a lot more fluid than other like liquid blushes that I've used before. It just seems to make it that much more easily blendable. And once again, it's got a chewy finish. I didn't used to be a dewy girl, but here we are. So I'm not taking it all the way down to the apples of my cheeks and just pressing it into the skin and then up onto the temples. I can't. I literally can't. That's something I love about it as well. You can build it up. Doesn't ever go cakey. It's just the perfect dewy blush. I'm going to actually put a little bit on my nose as well. Because in Hailey Bieber's tutorial, her nose looks all cute and pink. It then looks like Hailey adds a little bit of shimmer to the cheeks. So I'm just going to go in with the blush tape in pink. This is one of my favorite products. I think it's so underhyped. It's like a highlighter blush duo. Simply beautiful. I'm gonna start doing this for my every single day skin. What do we think? Is it too much for every single day? I don't know, I don't care. I don't actually think I saw Hayley set the skin in her video. Her skin must be insane. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use Huda's Cherry Blossom Cake Loose Powder on no other than the Trigwell Sponge. Nikki Tutorials is onto these now. Take some onto the puff and then pat onto the back of your hand. It just evens out the product on the sponge so that it's gonna apply flawlessly. I'm just gonna go right underneath my eyes where I feel like I'm gonna crease. Impeccable. When I first got this pink powder, I was kind of like, I can't use that. I can't use that, that's scary. <laughs> but honestly, the pigmentation is not scary at all. Just brightens up the area, and when you've got your pink blush on, just blends it seamlessly. So now I'm just gonna set the skin in place. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop Coconut Beach Bronzer. This is the lightest bronzer that I own. If you're a fair skin girly like me, this is such a lovely shade. I always feel like the lighter bronzer shades get slept on quite a lot. But you know what I mean? I feel like we all gravitate towards the darker, warmer shades. So on top of the blush, I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of Made by Mitchell Milkshade because I don't wanna like disturb the color too much. But this color is kind of perfect. 
and I don't want to take away too much of the dewiness. But if I don't set it, it's not going to stay on my face. <laughs> I'm going to dust a little bit of the Easy Bacon Snatch pressed powder on top of it. This one is also in Cherry Blossom Cake. I love this because it's got a little bit of luminosity to it. So even though you are mattifying the skin, you're not going to completely lose that dewiness because it has luminosity in it. I know that some people don't like that, but... I am a big fan of that. So for brows, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown. Hayley has her classic fluffy brows. So let's just add a little bit of color into mine. Just defining them a tiny bit. I don't wanna make them like too structured, but I definitely wanna fill in these baldy bits. <laughs> Trying to let my brows grow more to their natural shape at the moment as well. So now they are looking a little bit more defined. Are they, or is it placebo effect? I think they are. <laughs> we are gonna make them fluffy. So I am using the Wonder Brow Clear Brow Wax. So this isn't going to make your eyebrows stick perfectly in place all day, but it does get them looking the fluffiest. I mean, it gets my eyebrows looking the fluffiest they have ever been. Like, it doesn't look intentional. Like, my go-to brow is that laminated, very, like, stuck down, precise brow. But every once in a while, I love it. It just looks so much more natural. They look more full. The day that this trend dies, it'll be a joyous day for some. <laughs> but sad for others like us. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the liquid blush onto the back of my hand. Tap a brush into it. Just taking this predominantly through the crease, but also onto the lid. You can just be messy with it because this is just kind of the base blending color. So for the crease, just to make sure everything ties really nicely together, I'm gonna do my bronzer shade with a Made by Mitchell milkshake that we used for the blush. I'm gonna pop both of them onto my brush and then just messily blend this through the crease. So it's gonna be like a nice warm, pinky colour. I'm just pulling it through the crease and then up into my temple just to give me a bit of a lifted effect. That's just what looks best on me, but on Hayley it literally just looks like she goes for it. Do what's right for you, what looks best on your face shape. Because it's like for me, there's been the trend for ages, the inner eyeliner. I just can't do it because my nose is wide and then my eyes are quite close to my nose. It just looks really weird so always do what looks best for you i'm also going to put this on the outer corner of the eye and then the nice thing as well is that milkshake just blends straight into the blush now the lid is very glittery so i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury pillow talk palette i think i'm going to make a mixture of the top two shades and then dust in that over the lid Haley adds a little bit of gloss to hers but i'm not going to do that because that's what makes my eyes crease a lot but what i am going to do just to get that like a wet look i'm going to take a made by mitchell creamy bellini blush once again pop it on the back of my hand really lightly and sparingly pop that onto the lid patting not swiping because that's just going to take everything off then i actually go into the crease it just helps give it a little bit more of a wet vibe which that is exactly what i wanted that looks so cute there is a big part of me that wants to add a brown liner, but Hayley doesn't do that, so I'm not going to do it. I said I was putting my own spit on it, but that might be too far. Is that changing the entire look? I don't know. <laughs> with the end of a brush, I'm going to go in with that same bronzer and then create little dots. I just like doing it this way because the amount of product that comes off every single time is always completely different. So you get like the multi-tonal freckles and then also the sizes are completely different as well. And then obviously do a couple of random ones pat them out and they're really gonna look like they are underneath your makeup like so i am a big fan of freckles i never used to understand in school when people used to say that they hated their freckles crazy i always really 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 wanted freckles i'm gonna do my lips first before putting mascara on my eyes because i need to film a little tiktok video I'm doing a new little series where like i spend my money so you don't have to <laughs> so i'm starting off with the mascaras and the first one that i'm gonna test is kylash I'm gonna line my lips with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Sandy Beige. And she really smudges this lip liner out. So I'm not too worried about getting that perfect shape. I love that colour. It's such a gorgeous nude colour. Anyway, let's smudge. I don't think I've ever seen anyone like smudge lip liner outside of the lip line. So this will be fun to see if this becomes a trend. Definitely making my lips look a lot bigger. Then she uses a dark liner to define. So I'm gonna use P. Louise Such a Flirt. This is my go-to. I love this colour. I don't know if this is discontinued. I got this off TikTok shop and it's not on TikTok shop anymore. Wow, my lips genuinely do be looking bigger. And then she obviously uses her new Road Lip Balm, which is, you know, what the whole makeup video is about. I don't have that. So I'm gonna use the CRT Dewy Gloss in Charm and then Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond's Milk. I love these CRT glosses. And then let's go on top with Miss Diamond Milk. Oh my God, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit more pink actually. Pre warning, the angle's about to change because I'm gonna film this TikTok video and charge this battery at the same time. So 
I'll see you in a second. So mascara is done. We ended up using Kylash and we started out on a high. Welcome to Spin Smart and Not Harder, where I waste my money so that you don't have to waste yours. Our first victim is Kylash. This mascara has set me back 23 pounds. <laughs> So this mascara uniquely promises to lift, define, and volumize everything promised by every mascara on the planet. Let's rate the tube sound out of 10. Ooh, eight. As you can see, my natural lashes are straight as anything, so I'm just gonna give them a quick curl. Fun fact, I chopped on my eyelashes off curling them once. Let's go. I'm just applying vertically first to get a little bit of volume into the lashes, and then I like to wiggle up the lash. Here we are after one coat. The curl has dropped a little bit, like a little bit. My natural lashes are very stubborn. They just want to be in a straight position. So the fact that this is holding any curl at all, <laughs> let's do another coat because who does one coat of mascara? If you do, you clearly have really nice lashes. <laughs> oh my god, that is really nice. Oh no. This is what we are looking like with the second coat. I'll come closer for you. If I look up. How do they look? Hello, Jesus. Okay, so scores on the doors for Kylash. Eight out of 10. You gave me definition, volume, length, the blackest black color. Didn't clamp. You didn't hold the curl. And also it's 23 pounds, so I'm deducting a point for that. So yeah, she's a keeper. So final step, which is another one that Hayley doesn't do. I honestly don't understand how her makeup stays on her face because it doesn't look like she sets it and it doesn't look like she powders it either. Her skin must be phenomenal. So I'm just gonna use the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. So yeah, this is the final look. This is my take on Hailey Bieber's Sugar Plum Fairy Makeup. And I actually think my favorite part of it is the lip liner. I've never done my lip liner like this before, like a little bit smudged out. And I just really love how it looks. I feel like it's soft, it's girly, it's so easy to create. And it's pink and sparkly, what's not to love? So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you recreate this, please tag me. I would love to see your recreations. If you are not already, please remember to subscribe and leave a like and a comment. I would love to get to know you all. And also follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you're on those two. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you next time.